Hey guys, so what's up? I'm going to be doing another PC build video today, and this video is going to be about building your own personal Windows Home Server PC. Windows Home Server is great because if you're in a household with lots of Windows users, you can share files, stream it to like your media PC from your desktop if you did, like download a movie on there, stuff like that. And so, it's very convenient for that. However, the OS is cheap, it's only $50, but don't think that you can just buy that and use it for everything. It's stripped down, the desktop is stripped down, it's not Windows 7. Um, so you don't need an extremely powerful PC for this. Um, obviously hard drive space is more important than like putting a Core i7 in there, but it should be powerful enough so that if multiple people are using it, you can access all those files at once. So. <coughs> Let's go jump right in, and the first part is a for the CPU is a Intel Core i3-2100. It's $90 from Micro Center. It runs at 3.1 gigahertz. It's a dual core with hyperthreading, so it should work great for this. For the motherboard, we have an ASRock H77MITX. Um, if you want to upgrade this to Ivy Bridge, you have that ability. So, it's the H77 chipset, so it's got new things. I don't really know much about that chipset. I know it's an improvement over H67, though. But if you want to save a little money, find an ITX one that uses H67, um, feel free. For the RAM, we have 4 gigs of G-Skill. Um, it's DDR3. It runs at 1600 MHz. You don't really need more than that, so... It'll do great for 30 bucks. For the case slash power supply, we have an Antec New Solution. Weird names for, like, Antec small cases. I think they have the Minuet for the small form factor PC. I don't know. Um, it also comes with a 380-watt power supply, which I'm confident about this because it's from Antec, and Antec make, makes pretty good power supplies. So you should be good to go. It's a little costlier. So if you want to just find a really cheap, like, $20 budget case um, that, like, will just take ITX and run fine, that'll do great. You just got to find a power supply, and that'll definitely be cheaper. But I designed this to kind of be an out-of-the-way, like, small but powerful little machine. For the hard drive, we have a Seagate Barracuda 2 terabyte. Uh, it runs at 7200 RPM. It has some cash in there. I don't quite remember what it was. Um, it's 120 bucks. And if you want to upgrade to a 3 terabyte, that's only like a little bit more. I think they're like 180, 160 now. For the optical drive, we have a Samsung DVD burner. Again, if you have... Well, not again. If you have one of these, because media... Because Windows Home Server PCs are designed to run headless without a monitor, a keyboard, or a mouse whenever except whenever you want to edit them, because they'll work fine if you just leave them on the corner. Um, you can do some stuff from, like, your main PC, actually, with, with an administrator. Um, you can just swap this out from your current PC, and then put it back in when you're done with the installation. And then, of course, the operating system is Windows Home Server 2011 OEM. It's $50, so it's good to go. And that about wraps it up. Um... I will have the total in the description along with all the links. Also, if you want to use this for a gaming like thing server, like run Minecraft server twenty four seven, you could probably just get away with um shrinking the hard drive and maybe like getting a little bit more like getting a five hundred gigabyte hard drive and then maybe pumping more money into um like eight gigs of RAM or a core I five. So that would be good to go for um, Minecraft and other games. And of course, if you want to put like a Core i7 in there and like 16 gigs, it would be able to like run five things of uh, of Team Fortress 2 all day. So, but yeah, this will about wrap it up. Uh, have a nice day. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And goodbye.